everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy and I'm back again with part 5 of my video series, Designing Your Own Cut Files. As always, I'm in Adobe Illustrator and today we're going to be learning about setting up files for scoring. Specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to make some place cards. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is go over here and grab my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle on my artboard. I don't really want it to go edge to edge because when you're doing a cut file, um, you can't make things go all the way to the edge because the machine can't cut that far. So I'm just going to scale this down and I'm holding shift and option at the same time and that'll scale things down uniformly. Um, if you want to adjust two sides opposite each other at the same time, you can just hold option. And if you want to um, keep the whole thing the same size and drag to the other corner, then you can just hold shift. Those are some tips on scaling, but here we go with our rectangle. Now I'm going to divide it into separate parts by going to object and then path and then split into grid. I'm going to click the preview button on. I'm going to have two columns and then let's see how many rows. Since these are going to be folded in half, I'm going to do three rows. Okay. So here we have our place cards, and now we just need to set up our score lines. I'm going to change this to outlines for right now so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to make some score lines in a different color just to give it some contrast. I'm just going to use my line segment tool, find the center of my rectangle and hold shift as I drag it across and that's where I'm going to make my score line and scoring means folding by the way when you score something it means that you're setting up to create a nice crisp fold now I'm just going to copy that and duplicate it again so now we have all three of our score lines set up I'm just going to group those together to make it a little bit easier. So you can see what I did there over in the layers panel. They were all separate and now they're all in one group. And then I'm going to select all of my yellow uh, place card boxes and group those together. And another tip you can do, so as you saw when I did that, I was selecting all of the lines as well as the boxes. But if you hold shift and click on one of the other things, so if I click on the lines, it'll unselect the lines but keep the boxes selected. So if I wanted to do the opposite, drag and select all of these, but I want to get rid of the boxes and just keep the lines, I hold shift and then click on the boxes. Anyway, there's another little tip for you. Okay, so now this file is pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to get rid of my back layer. Then I'm going to save it to my practice files folder. And as always, save it as an SVG. All right. So when we open up Cricut Design Space, process starts out the same. Just going to go through. Right. Upload your file. There we go. And place it onto your canvas. All right, so like always, everything is automatically set to cut but we need to change the lines to score. There we go. And these are all, the yellow boxes are all set to cut, which is perfect, that's just what we want. And before we send it to um, the Cricut to cut, we need to select everything 
and attach it all together so that it will stay um, overlapped instead of uh, cut on different cutting mats. We can click make it, select our material size. I always like to move things a little bit more towards the center of my paper, but it's up to you what you want to do. Okay. Okay, so before we do our cut, we're going to have to load our accessories in. So this is a scoring stylus. has a little bit of a pointy end right here. And we're just going to load this into clamp A. Yes, my fingernail polish is peeling. It's embarrassing. All right. Load up our paper, make sure our dial is set where we want it, and we're ready to go. So here are our place cards, all nicely cut and scored. You can see the score line right there. This will make it really easy to make a nice crisp fold. So there you go. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to stay tuned for my next one where I'll show you how to make these lovely little cards a little bit more detailed. Until next time!